Now we're going to come up with some techniques called pre-emphasis and de-emphasis filtering to help improve our signal to noise ratio if we're concerned about the parabolic noise associated with FM demodulation. So here's our block diagram once again. Pre-detection bandpass filter, our bandpass limiter to limit the amplitude variation so that it doesn't incur any error signal in the angle. We have our angle demodulator and we note that for FM demodulation we use a slope detector or basically we take the derivative which introduces parabolic noise at our output. And what we want to do is somehow develop some circuits to help improve this situation. So our power spectral density of the noise has a parabolic shape so our noise power increases as F squared. We can have better signal to noise ratio performance for low frequency components as well as the high frequency components by introducing what we call our pre emphasis and de emphasis circuits. So, what we do is that we introduce a filter known as a pre emphasis filter where we treat our signal and we emphasize the high frequency components of our signal. And then at the receiver, we de-emphasize those high frequency components. So the net result that it has no effect on the frequency components of the ST. So in our noise term here, it's going to go through some demodulator where it's basically taking derivative. And so since it's enhancing this, the de-emphasize the emphasis filter will uh, attenuate the high frequency components since this noise power spectral density has a parabolic shape. So therefore the high frequency components of the noise term gets de-emphasized from this filter. So in summary what we want to do is we want to improve our noise performance with the introduction of pre-emphasis and de-emphasis circuits. We want to emphasize the high frequencies of the message signal and we want to de-emphasize the high frequency components of the noise signal and that the combination of the pre-emphasis and de-emphasis circuit has no effect on the message signal but it does attenuate the high frequency components in the parabolic uh, shaped noise.